B, C, D. In the morning, brush your teeth. E, F, G, H. Hurry up and don't be late. I, J, K, L. Learn the letters very well. M, N, O, P, Q. What we say is what we do. R, S, T, U. You love me and I love you. V, W, X, Y, Z. Start again and chat with me. Hello everyone, my name is Jenna. I'm nine years old. Do you think that I learned this song from YouTube? No, it's from TikTok. I'm sure that many of you know TikTok, right? However, as an elementary student, how should we use TikTok? Today, I would like to share you my opinion about this topic. TikTok is a social media app that allows users to create and share short videos which are popular among teenagers and young adults. But now it has become a popular platform for all ages. With its quick development, many elementary students are interested in TikTok. We use TikTok to both watch and create fun and entertaining short videos. The platform offers a wide range of content, including dancing, singing, games, challenges, and humorous videos. TikTok gives a lot of benefit for elementary students, including number one is creativity. We can show ourselves on TikTok by creating and editing short videos. Also, it encourages us to be creative. Number two is entertainment. Elementary students can enjoy watching and joining in the trends and challenges that are suitable for our age. Number three is learning chances. Even though not all TikTok is educational, they are available. We can learn such amazing topics such as science, art, music, and culture, which can build our knowledge. However, in the void not to affect our mind and health, we should use it under our parents' control. Both me and my sister need permission to use it for 20 minutes every day. I usually watch three to four videos related to English, such as dubbing and singing in English. My parents choose certain preschool songs from my little sister. Sometimes we are crazy about watching some entertaining songs and dance, but always in the time limits. One more thing that I want to tell you, TikTok is very smart. If we show our interest in the topic, TikTok will give us more related videos. So if every day we watch quick math lessons, English stories, or nice essays, we will see great information related to math, English, and literature on our screen. But if we watch some negative videos, the same information will automatically update on our screen. So remember to choose the good and healthy content for your choice. Choosing the good thing for you is the most important. Always put your well-being and personal growth on top. In summary, TikTok gives big benefit for elementary students this summer. However, we should use it responsibly in the moderation not to lack negative impacts on our growth. From there, TikTok can be an enjoyable and educational tool for us, giving both entertainment and learning chances. Thank you everyone for watching my video. Goodbye!